Hello, this is Gaia7, and today we'll be applying the knowledge we learned about 65C816 assembly into Super Mario World. So, you can tell by the thumbnails, by the way, that anything without the kind of sketch pad screen will be an application tutorial, and the ones with a sketch pad will be a learning. So, since it does have thumbnail and not the sketch pad, this will be one of the application tutorials. So you can see over here I have a Super Mario World RAM map open but I also have a ROM map open and we're going to see both used in fact though. So right here I have the Super Mario World so source code which I'll send a link to in the description but basically what you want to do is double click make that dot bat and it should produce a ROM. Now I'm opening this in SNES 9X, but use your emulator of choice. You can see that it all works out perfectly well now. So, what we're going to try and do is actually make a small assembly hack for Super Mario World. What our primary goal is going to be is when Mario dies to reset the amount of coins he has to zero which is a very simple hack because it just modifies a RAM address and it's unconditional anytime Mario dies he's going to have zero coins so now the ROM map we can see that it's been mapped out and you can see the addresses are six digit longs as we would call them generally if you see zero zero here that'll apply to bank zero if you see zero one in the front that'll apply to bank one and so on so we're going to search for Mario's death so we can search for death death pose no death subroutine okay so this is interesting Mario's death subroutine so we JSL to it to kill Mario we don't really know what that means but we're just going to go there now if I search for F606 that might not give me some results so I'm just going to go around the general area where F606 would be located in the source code here you can see there's a lot of commands that we know like uh, LDA and store A and a lot of store zeros here but there's also a lot of stuff we do not know like JSL and rep and compare and or A and a bunch of other things you should know this one though you should know exactly what this does. If you don't, then you have not been paying attention, but you can see there's a JSL to kill Mario there. And you can see that approximately where F606 would be, we have the kill Mario routine. Okay, so we're loading A as the immediate value 0x90, and we're storing that as Mario's Y speed. And you can see here we have a bunch of stuff here. You can, in general, if there's no RTL or branches, then it'll just continue on to this code. So, what we want to do is insert code here to change the amount of coins Mario has to zero. So we can just start doing it up here. So, we could just say store zero and where our RAM address is. And so if we go to the RAM map here and we search for coins, Mario's coins, this is only used in two players games so you don't want to use that. So this will be the current coin count. So 7E is going to be in the RAM here. We're not going to really worry about that but we're going to store zero at this address here and that should be good 
And that's basically our command. But watch what happens when we run make that bat here after we save it. You'll see that it actually fails. And if you look at these things, all the other banks are 3, 2, 7, 68 bytes. Well, this one is 3 bytes over. That's because we added code to it. And each bank can only be so many bytes. So there is one command that does nothing. And it's called the NOP operator. Basically, what it does, it stands for no operation. We can comment it out with a semicolon and see if that does makes a difference. You can see that our bytes have gone down by one. So if we find like two more, so let's find an op. Ooh, that's something up there. Nop. Okay just comment out like two of those where we can generally be safe like canceling out a no operation might have canceled out one too many but hey it compiled isn't that what's all really matters but one thing you'll notice is since we're modifying the source code we're messing up all the offsets and stuff so if you were to load this ROM in something like Lunar Magic, it won't actually work. Now there's a pro proper way to make patches for Super Mario World and all that, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm not making any game specific tutorials. We're just doing some quick ASM hacking in general. So if we r run the ROM here, see everything is now. It's okay. And if I collect a coin and have Mario die, his coin count should return to zero. So I have a coin here. We can just get one more, just in case. No real reason, actually. Just want to get another coin for the fun of it. Okay, so let's go die. Let's kill Mario. And you'll see that his coin counter went to zero. So you can see that our ASM hack actually worked. We made Mario's coin counter go to zero. And you can challenge yourself too. But for now, this has been another tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all later.